Well, hello folks. Uh, here it is June the 2nd, which is a Saturday. Hopefully the rain will hold off for a little while, but I'm going to work at uh, maybe trying to get some ends onto this porch here that I uh, did recently. And if the rain holds off, we'll, we'll get the two ends on and then that'll be done for now except for waiting a little while longer for the green treated to dry out and then stain that. <clears throat> but uh, hopefully we can get a little bit done anyway. Uh, it was 35 degrees at the cabin this morning. Again, June the 2nd. One nice thing about the cool windy weather is it keeps the bugs down. Uh, I got hit Thursday night when I came in here a little bit with some black flies uh, chewing on the back of my neck but uh, yesterday wasn't bad when I cut all the grass and everything so some of you have seen the videos in the past and I leave this patch here on the power line because it gets such nice uh, wildflowers Oh, a little bit later, end of June through July and that, and then in the fall I I cut it down and that, but I did cut a little bit on each side to walk through there and and stuff, so. But the rest of the place uh, looks pretty nice and, and that, so. Anyway, we'll get to work on this porch and I'll have a little bit of help here. Uh, Heather and John showed up and they're out walking the dogs right now so uh, while I was setting up but I might be able to get started on a couple things so This material I bought for this porch is actually cedar toned uh, treated lumber. I thought with this color, at least for now, I don't need to worry about staining it and it just looks a little nicer than that green treated stuff. Um, so maybe at some point I'll stain this as well. It's a little more expensive than the green treated, but uh, I liked it a little better and, and that, so that's what I decided to go with on this, uh, on these end caps for the porch anyway. Now I'm cutting a little five inch spacer that's going to go um, on the bottom of the supports to hold that bottom plate and uh, that way you know if you get some snow you can push some snow underneath it a little bit easier uh, so that's what i'm cutting out now Okay, John, I'll have you hold this board. Yep. Um, see my... See that one right there? Yeah. Okay.
see because it went through the through the back side too much. One side done, turned out okay. See if we can duplicate it on side two. Okay, we got it done. Uh, got done just before I think the rain's gonna hit. So this is one side. There's the other side done. So it's a little bit more decorative than what was on here before. But it just add a little bit with the extra 2x4s and that. So uh, I don't put anything in the front because, again, it's just the front porch for sitting occasionally. And then when you bring stuff, setting water jugs or your gear on the front is a lot easier. And then for moving snow in the winter and stuff, uh, a lot nicer with the front open like that but uh, yeah I'm happy with the way it turned out we'll see when I get some stain if I decide to um, 
stain these rails too or leave them another contrast whether I go with a dark stain or a lighter stain or what but uh, yeah looks good so that job is done so other than this staining I guess I don't have really much of anything else to do on the outside at this point which I'm happy to say is uh, a good feeling.